Welcome back, peeps. Derek here, bringing you another random review. I got uh, for you guys today a film released by Chemical Burn Entertainment. I'm not really sure about that company at all. I just picked up this film because it's from uh, the same director as A Hundred Tears and Rot. It's from 2010. It's directed by Marcus Koch, and that is Fell. It has a uh, Underneath has like the tagline relationships can bring you down. I'm gonna get into the little plot of this one. It has like a simple story to it. What it's basically about is uh, it's a character study. You follow uh, the main character on the cover there, Bill, who's played by Jeff Dylan Graham. And basically, you just follow his like story, like his uh, what happens is he's basically down on his luck. His girlfriend just left him. He just lost his job. He just broke, left his band that he was playing with. He's on like these depression meds because he's wicked depressed. And the only one that like he talks to is like his friend Derek. Which is weird because my name, I don't want to sound like I'm talking in the third person here. But his friend's name in the film is Derek, so I'll be mentioned. So I don't think I'm talking about myself when I do this review. <clears throat> it's basically like a character study. Like, what happens is, all of a sudden while he's going through all this like drama and stuff with what's happening in his personal life he wakes up one morning and he finds a dead body in his tub and he basically trying to figure out how she got there that's pretty much the plot of the film I'm not gonna go into anything else because it will just spoil the film for you guys it's a pretty turning point in the film. Now my thoughts on this one? It's a very low-key indie film, in my opinion. It takes place all in Bill's apartment. The whole film, pretty much. There's a few outside shots, like of him outside of his house. One scene in particular with Derek, and the other one with his girlfriend, Jenny, I think. Jenny was her name. Jennifer or Jenny. And, uh... You can tell, like, the indie feel of this film with that sudden... It only has, like, three major characters. I think there's a fourth character, too. Psychiatrist. You know, he only appears in one scene where you see the psychiatrist describe him these, uh... meds that he's on. And what happens is, uh... You basically follow Bill through, like, his, uh, he's pretty much just going insane through the whole film. Like, there's, like, this weird, like, obsession with this radio, which plays a major point in the plot later on, why he always has this radio with him. And even, like, in scenes without the radio, you could hear, like, you know how it's, like, one of those old tune-in radios with the, the static? Like, even in, like, the outside shots, like, you can hear, like, the radio turning, like, static singles and all that good stuff. Kind of, this film kind of reminds, like, if you've ever seen, like, these contained, like, films like, that take place in one setting, like, an apartment. Kind of reminds me of uh, Polanski's Repulsion, in a way. Or, like, I know there's another film I haven't seen yet, uh, M Motivational Growth. I guess that one takes place in like a apartment comp building too, or like Worm. Worm was another one that took place all in an apartment. A few other ones, I can't think of the names of them off the top of my head. What uh, sets this one apart for me is like how much different of a film it is than Marcus Koch's last film, A Hundred Tears, that he did before this one, three years before, I think. Yeah, it was three years. 
it was a uh, it's more psychological it's like a more psychological film like I said it's like a character study you follow just this one guy and two other major characters I don't want to spoil the ending but there is a major plot twist that I didn't really see coming because but for like people who've seen films like this before they might see it a little early on in the film I didn't pick up on it but I'm kind of glad that I didn't either at the same point because it made the film more like a twist for me like that's my own personal opinion now let's get into the acting since there's only like three characters they have to be really like interesting performances in my opinion to keep you interested in a film like this because you're only following like three characters through the whole film so at least those performances have to be at least decent to, in my opinion to watch and the guy who plays uh, Bill he does a really good job like like his performance is probably like the best part of this film in my opinion he uh he has that 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 look to him like you want to follow him but at the same time you think he's going crazy at the same time the other the guy who plays Derek he does a pretty good job too and uh even though uh the girlfriend Jenny she, the actress who plays her she's not really in the film that much she has a central role because that's the main reason why he's the way he is and so uh, even though she has like it's probably the smallest screen time in this film besides the psychiatrist he has one scene <laughs> he, she did pretty good for the scenes that she is in some were flashbacks some were present time scenes but yeah there's not really much I could say about this one because like I said it has a lot of like if I dwell into the plot a lot it will just spoil the film for you guys if you haven't seen it if you're interested in this I do recommend it though if you like fans of like psychological like dramas or like films that take place in like one setting like a apartment or like anything like that like contained settings <laughs> if I had to rate this one I'm gonna probably just give it like a 7.5 out of 10 it was a good watch for me for a first time watch and I did enjoy it but I just feel like I had to watch it a few more times to see if I really do think it's a top-notch film. I'm not saying that it isn't. I do believe that because I haven't seen more films like this. So I want to compare it to like other ones. This is actually really interesting film for Marcus Koch to because he's mostly known for effects. There's not really that many effects to be used in this film. Which I also like because he's trying to broaden his horizons as a director. And he did a really good job with this film in my opinion. So, Fell. Relationships can bring you down. 7.5 out of 10. Alright guys, that's my review for Fell. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have seen the film or have any questions about it, leave comments underneath as always. If you're interested in the film, let me know. I'm going to leave the link in the descriptions where to purchase it. So like, subscribe, and comment. Hope you enjoy my review. I'm going to have a new series coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned. Peace out. Thank you.